you know, I use three different terms. There's globalization, there's globalism, which is an ideology, and there's international trade. Globalism, I see as a political ideology that, that it's, you know, we should all be one right. and we should all become more homogeneous, more unicultural, which sees difference as something fundamentally bad as right. opposed to celebrating diversity. Right. So that's what I call globalism. Globalization, I think, includes the trade and economic issues, but it also includes the cultural issues. You know, now we can watch television from everywhere, we travel more, and it speaks to countries' soft power as much as their hard power. Right. You know, there was a time when everybody wanted Nike shoes, everybody wanted the American way of life. There was a time before that when everybody wanted the British way of life because that was where the soft power was. So I think globalization has a lot of cultural and political elements as well as economic elements. What Magda was talking about was, you know, all of those, but in terms of improving people's quality of life, I think that at a macro level, that is correct. But that improvement is not in any way evenly distributed. And that's very correct, yeah. Um, yeah. So, you know, you have some who have been big winners and you have some who have been big losers from globalization how it has evolved. Now, we can argue that some countries handled it well and some countries handled it badly, but, you know, these things are actually quite difficult to handle. Mm. You know, the idea that if you close all the coal mines, you're going to retrain these people is nice in theory, but the practice of it is actually not that easy. Cool. You know, we can't convert people who've been underground for 40 years into programmers for Google.